Hello! For the past fortnight, I've been reading this. And this is the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Official Study Guide. And it's an official Amazon uh, Web Services book. Now, it's for the associate exam. It's 2763, which I've had an odd number. It's 2763 to buy from Amazon. Um, it's the ED, oh, ECDL, sorry, exam board. Um, um, by Cybex, um, published by Wiley, a Wiley brand. So all good names, and it's pretty good content. The the pricing baffles me. It's twenty seven pounds sixty three, or it's on the back sixty US dollars or seventy two Canadian dollars. So either this has come massively down in price, and I don't know why, or the the, the rear prices are wrong. Either way, it's quite a hefty book. It's all softback. It's you know it's a it's a you know, soft paperback design. It's all black and white. There is no color in this at all. It's all black and white. Reading wise, it's pretty good. You start each topic, each chapter, with a pretty, you know, a nice amount of, you know, introductory coverage. There are blocks of text that are quite long, but you can deal with that. But then it is broke up quite nicely in other places. So they, they've got the balance right for actually getting the information across. Um, I've actually got some little markers here for things I want to show you. Um, because though I'm not taking the associate exam right now, this is a pretty good study guide for it. I'm not going to say it's perfect, um, but it's better than other study guides I've had. Um, like I had another one the other week which I reviewed and, and I wasn't impressed with how bad the paper was. This paper's pretty nice. Um, I'm going to sneeze any second. I do apologize. Sorry, I sneezed. Yeah, so. You get these pretty nice diagrams. This is explaining uh, the internal uh, network and then a, 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 you know, a different subnet and then the, the barricading around that and then the outer wrapper. It's all pretty well explained and it explains you know, the external routing to the internal routing. I, I quite like this. It's using a little bit of flow diagram um, style uh, item within the, the, the diagrams themselves, but it's fine. It's not overwhelming. That's the great thing I found about it. Um, so this is just talking about subnets and routing tables. So you've got the information. Um, and if we carry on through, each chapter builds up. So we have internet gateways, you know, all things you'd know about elastic gateways, endpoints, etc., etc. And then the, the last part of each chapter, if I can find the start of the next chapter, which is marked with this yellow marker. So if we then go back in life, what you've got is a set of questions reviewing the information it's gone through. Um, they're actually, they're not over the top. Um, they're all, for the most part, multiple choice. You don't sit and write yourself an essay. So which Amazon relational database service, Amazon RDS, database engine supports multi-AZ? All of them, Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL Oracle, Oracle, Amazon Aurora, Postgres, or MySQL. Now, the fact that some names appear in the list differently is telling you that it's not just a one shot one answer you might need to know in that case that maybe um aurora has it hence it can't be the others i don't actually know to be honest but the information is all here to find that out and i quite find that very interesting that the questions and even the answer options are driving you to learn a little bit they're driving you if you've got a logical mind they're driving you to think about the answers not a lot of study guides do that if I spin forward to this one, here's a different diagram. Again, all black and white, but you can see that the information is provided, and then there's a summary. You always get this summary. It goes through each piece and then summarizes it um, before then moving into what are the essentials for the exam for this actual section. That's probably the best part of these, the, the actual exemptions. You need to know how to use Amazon SQS. You need to understand Amazon SQS visibility timeouts. You need to know how to use Amazon SQS long polling, etc., etc. They are pointed. You could write those down and just bullet point those, reiterate them. Read the whole book once, get through those, and then revisit just those pieces. Um, the actual contents page is very in-depth. You can get straight to any one piece of it. So this is the elastic stuff. This is the uh, security and AWS. Um, and these are all the answers to the review questions in the back. But you then, at the other end, have a really nice glossary. Now, the glossary 
is obviously it's very powerful for this. Unfortunately, an awful lot of it is A for Amazon. It's a bit of a shame, but they break things down quite well uh, underneath. Um, so obviously, um, you do see sections where it's just Amazon, 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 Amazon. But move forward, and then you get Amazon routers, and then you get failover, hosted, latency. You get the other things underneath. It is very useful to cherry pick through. Um, those exam requirements, those exam pieces are really the best part of this book. The preambles for each chapter are pretty good. The exam questions still make you think, still make you learn. But those essentials for the exam are the best bit. Certainly at £27, £28, I've got to say this is a damn good book. I'm going to actually say this is a five-star book. Other people have given it three. I've not even looked at their reviews yet, but having read this through, and I'm going to keep this and read it again because it's a very useful book, especially if you're taking the exam. I actually don't think, having used AWS for several years, I don't think this ages very well. It doesn't show its age. I mean, obviously, this is a book for late 2016, 2017, but it still applies to the stuff I remember doing in 2015, 2014. And I think this will still apply to the stuff in 2018, 19, 20. I don't think this is going to be something that ages too well because the Amazon platform, though it does evolve, can't drop all the previous stuff quite so quickly. They can innovate, but they can't remove the old stuff. So five stars for this from me, not least because of the price, but also because it's actually a very easy read. I hope to see you again. If you fancy visiting the YouTube, it's all up here. If you're on YouTube already, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.